Okay, so on today's video, uh, we're back on the Nintendo Wii. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to install the uh, SNES RX emulator. Uh, more importantly, um, how to run the MSU1 ROMs. Um, it was a CD-based unit that Super Nintendo was supposed to come out with. Right around the same time as the uh, PlayStation came out. But um, they never went through with it. And now it's pretty much just an emulation. So I'm going to show you how to run the games. So here's the app. Uh, SNES 9X RX. Let's start it up. start um, so you go under where you have your ROMs mine are under um, MSU1 ROMs and there's all my games I got about 15 games um, what this basically does is enhance the um, quality of the audio and the video so it makes the games look sharper. I'm just going to show you a few examples so, so I don't get a copyright strike. So I'm going to be very brief on um, how long I show the video for. Um, let's start off with Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Press A. As you can see, much sharper image. Uh, when you want to load up another game, just press home. Uh, main menu. Okay. Then go back. Uh, we'll run um, Final Fight. We'll load up another game. Um, let's load up um, Mortal Kombat 3. So there you go, in my opinion, one of the best ways to play the Super Nintendo games. Um, 
they have lots of ROM hacks available. Um, it's a pretty cool emulator. Um, now we'll get over on the PC and I will uh, show you how to set it up on your SD card. Okay, so now over on the PC, um, I'm going to be leaving you this link in the description for the SNES 9X RX emulator. Um, just scroll down on the page until you see SNES 9X RX zip. Uh, download the file here. Uh, you're going to have to unzip it. So I'll show you what it looks like in the folder. So here's the folder. There's a zipped. Once you unzip it, this is what it's going to look like. So it'll have an apps folder, a SNES 9X RX folder, and a README folder. So going into the apps, it'll have the SNES 9X RX with uh, the boot doll. And then on the root of your SD card, um, it'll have a SNES 9X RX folder. This is where you put all your games and your cheats and saves. So I created a folder called um, MSU ROMs. And here's my ROM. They gotta come in the structure I'm gonna show you. So this is uh, Street Fighter Alpha 2. As you can see, it's 420 megabytes. The regular game is uh, less than five megabytes. So you can see how enhanced it is. So here's all the files. Uh, the PCM files are the audio files, so it's audio enhanced. And then you'll have the SNES ROM. So this is the format it's got to be in. Um, I'm not going to show you how to find the ROMs, but if you Google um, MS1 ROMs, you should uh, be able to find them. Just make sure it's the right format. Um, so that's basically it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.